makes me crazy I dream about a baby Gazing on days and contagious You're my baby We know each other like the back of our hands Understand there's no mistake And I'm taking this you my dream Okay, so we're about to go ahead and check out this next song. <laughs> Keith Whitley, Tell Lori I Love Her. Uh, this song actually came out after he passed. Okay. All right, y'all ready? Let's go. If I were alone in the desert Without a drink of water around my knees and hands in that white scorching sand With the hot Sahara sun beating down If I could be granted my wishes And anything I'd want would come true But I know that it might sound funny But here's what I want you to do Like it's just something I don't know in, in his sound. Like what, what? How did? How did he pass away? Uh, I think drinking. And for this, like to be like a song that came out after right. like he passed away, it, it does have like a different feel to it. Definitely, like a it gives it a different meaning. I'm just wondering, in regards to this song, who he's writing this about? Like, is he writing this about his his wife, uh, Lori? Uh, who's Lori? That's what. That's what I want to know. Did did who's he? Who's Lori? Mm. Because because if you, if you just kind of listen to the song, it's almost like someone's almost like like giving like their fa- it, it could be to yeah, to a degree like, like almost like, like saying like, tell her I love her like because when I leave this old world like she's the only girl for me right like, and and with him writing this song maybe you know you know sometimes people pe- people see things in their life like transpiring a certain way and you know maybe this song was. Uh, almost like an indication of like a goodbye. Like, you know, if, if I do leave, you know, this world early, mm. er, early, early than, you know, than I think, yeah. or than you think, uh, you know, this his, song, his wife's name was Lori. This song would be definitely like, okay, so yeah, it's a, wow. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Can you imagine like, how, oh man, like her listening to this. Yeah. It just get, 
Yeah, it just it just gives it a completely different feel to this one right here. Just wow. Just just knowing that you know what Keith Whitley had, like kind of went through, how his life ended, and this for this song to come out, and now for us to hear it. Yeah. With him, it's, it's it's like a letter, like him writing a letter to her, and and it was so short, it was so sweet, it was so to the point. It it, it kind of has like sad, like a sad connotation to it, but at the same time, it's like it, it's really just like. That's so unfortunate. Him reaching so out and, and and if he does, if he did pass away, like with him writing this song, it's it's really just like a song that, that's given to her. That's just like, even if I'm gone, I, I want you to feel good about this song because I wanted you to know that I need you. Yeah. That I needed you. Golly. You know what I mean? Even if I didn't say it verbally or, you know, let you, you know, where I didn't even actually let you know that. Yeah. I mean, but it's probably something like, especially like if you lose somebody in that manner, like I would feel like that would be yeah, something like know. something like I don't want to use the word comforting, but kind of like in a way it's almost like maybe something like, that you can go back to and yeah. just listen to to hold on to like the voice, like what he's saying to her. You know? I'm, I'm, glad like, you, I'm glad you said it that way because that's kind of what I want, what I was trying to say yeah. to a degree. Mm-hmm. your body, boy, I'm addicted. Insisting commitment predicted you're insane. 